kifaa hiyo kwa sasa tunaangazia taarifa nyingine ambapo kwa siku ya pili leo watahini wa mtihani wa kitaifa wa KCSC wamefanya mtihani wa sayansi kimu yani home science huku maafisa wa usalama wakitumwa kwa wingi katika maeneo ambayo yamekuwa kishuhudia utovu wa usalama kama vile Elgeo Marakwet kulingana na naibu kamishna wa kaunti Elgeo Marakwet Julius Maiyo serikali imetuma magari ya kuhudumu katika shule tofauti tofauti aidha waziri wa elimu Julius Migos ameweka wazi kwamba japo kumekuwa na changamoto kadha wa kadha siku hizo nyingine kwa wakati huu hakuna wanafunzi ambao watakosa kufanya mtihani kwa sababu watahiniwa katika maeneo watahamishwa wa, 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 katika ni usalama Every time we are doing examination there are normally challenges sometimes it's floods sometimes it's those insecurities but we are working in a multi agency um, team with the Ministry of Interior and many other ministries to ensure that no learner will miss their exam so some of those are being moved from the centers maybe they were into another central place that is safer for them to be able to undertake their examinations but if there is a situation we'll deal with the challenges the way they, they come so every student who is supposed to do uh, their assessment either kepsea and the kcsc will have an opportunity to do the, to do so in whichever area of the country that they are in we have a total candidature of 3000 687 candidates. We are uh, alert in terms of uh, uh, seeing that there is seamless uh, administration of these particular exams. Um, the, uh, our security personnel have been deployed ac accordingly to those very examination centers. In terms of transportation, the Ministry of Education has done uh, proper preparation to ensure that uh, all schools are served very well by government vehicles, particularly the, the, those uh, vehicles from, uh, that are owned by various schools. We are not going to use any private vehicles.